During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the Ag PhD Soils Clinics that we invite you to attend this winter. All right, so you may say, whoa, I'm going to sit all day and listen to somebody talk about soils and nutrients? That sounds tremendously boring. Actually, it's really pretty exciting, and when you think about ways to make more money on your farm, what do you spend the most money on? Where do you want to get the best return on investment and possibly even cut some costs that aren't needed? It's with fertility. So for a lot of farmers around the country, they're doing almost nothing for soil testing. And then even if they do some soil testing, they don't know how to read that test. We just think it's incredibly important and here's why. How much money are you going to invest on your farm in the next 20 years on fertility? Now, before you answer that question, I want you to just answer another question. Do you want your yields to go up or down in the next 20 years? Think about what's happened in the last 20 years. On our own farm, our corn yields have almost doubled. Our soybean yields have almost doubled in 20 years. So what has to happen with fertilizer usage? Well, that has to double to go right along with that if we're gonna have higher yields, right? So if you're gonna spend more money in the future than ever before on fertilizer, shouldn't that be something that you are an expert on? You've gotta know about this. We think it is just incredibly important. And if you don't know how to read that test, you can start real simply today by just taking some soil on your farm or a test on your farm, bring it into one of our Ag PhD soils clinics, and we're gonna talk all the way through a soil test. And I will guarantee you by the end of the day, you will know step by step how to read a soil test. The other thing is what information do you need on that soil test? Depending on which lab you go to, they may have uh, a different standard test and, and you say, wow, uh, what micronutrients do I need to request and what other information about my soil should I know to really understand how much to apply and what, what balance I need to seek in my soils to get top yields. We'll talk about exactly what you need to have on those soil tests and, and then how that all correlates together. And certainly if you've used the Ag PhD soil test app and done your own soil testing uh, back last fall, now you should have the results. Well, it's going to be real easy for you to follow through just one step at a time what you can do. Now, here's the other thing that I, I want you to understand. Everybody is looking at how do I cut costs going into this next year. The number one thing that you're going to get out of this is to try to figure out yourself where is my fertilizer dollar best spent. Without tests, without data, we're all just guessing. So rather than guessing, especially in a year like this coming year, where, hey, let's face it, we want to try to keep our costs down as much as possible, we've got to know how to read that soil test so we can keep our fertilizer bill low, but yet, on, by the same token, we can take whatever dollars we are spending on fertilizer, invest it properly, and get a great return. Well, it's all about figuring out what is your most limiting yield factor here. When it comes down to fertility, there's going to be one nutrient that runs out first. So what is that? And that's where we need to spend our first dollar and then we just work our way down. Okay, what's next limiting? What's next limiting? And to learn how to do that on your farm and learn exactly what you need, the Ag PhD Soils Clinics is a great way to go. All right, so if you're looking for more information or to sign up online for the Ag PhD Soils Clinic in your area, and we really encourage you, please register in advance. We have enough seats for everyone, we have enough food for everyone, and enough soils books for everyone because we're gonna give you all kinds of stuff that day. Uh, just go to agphd.com. And you might ask, well, how can you do this for free and why are you doing this for free? Look, we really have appreciated uh, your support over the last 18 years where we've done Ag PhD TV, and for that matter, the last three years where we've done Ag PhD Radio. Well, one thing that we can always do to help you out is show you how to stop tough weeds. Can you identify our Weed of the Week? 